welcome to my Briarfest 2021 haul unboxing part two. If you have not watched part one yet, I will have that video linked in the description down below and in the video cards and all that good stuff. In the first part, I unboxed all of my Briarfest special runs. In this video, you're going to see the celebration horses, the limited edition models, and any other things I got from the Briarfest store. Now, when I recorded some different parts of this video differs. Some of these models I did record at different times, so the setting and how I talk about them might kind of sound different from the rest of the video, and that is why. I did order six all-access tickets, or what used to be like the three-day tickets, so I did get six celebration horses. One of them was for a giveaway that I already did. I'll briefly show you here the Briarfest program which this year you actually had to pay for if you wanted to have the paper copy of it. But it is pretty cool. It is exactly the same as the online program, but it's neat just having having this to put with my other Briarfist programs and whatnot. Now we will talk about the Danny models. Now what's really fun about these is because they are such an intricate design and also just an amazing design for the Celebration Horse. But since it is so complicated and intricate, there's actually a lot of variation between these models. All kinds of different things, like from where their spots are placed, to the amount of spotting or freckling, whatever you want to call it, on them. There's just a lot of different little variations. So I'll try to show you a little bit of like the more drastic variations I've noticed between these six models. One variation with them I've noticed is, like I said, the spot placement is a little bit different on them because of course it's going to be a little different for each, each one. Something I've noticed is that like sometimes, like on these two, the spots on the back are kind of closer together, whereas on some of the other ones, like this one, and the one back there, their spots are kind of farther apart. It's a little hard to show when they're all still in their boxes because I don't want to unbox all of them because a couple of them are going to stay in their boxes. Their manes are also a little different of how that shading looks on them. Some it's a little darker, some of it has like a lighter gray, and I apologize this is really not the best way to do this. The easiest variation to show you guys is between the lighter and more freckled ones I have here. I'm just going to call it freckling, but you know what I mean, like the little spots, and the ones that are darker and have less little spots or freckles on them. For example, these two on the left, and I'm sorry for the glare, but hopefully you can see on their faces and like on their neck, they are a little bit lighter and they have a lot of freckling. This one especially just has a lot of a lighter shade to her and lots and lots of freckles going on. But then we'll go over to this side and we see this one here is darker, just overall a little bit darker, and has not nearly as many freckles on it. Same thing with this one down here. I think this one is even darker than the other one. This one doesn't have nearly as much freckles. So it is kind of fun getting to see all these different variations on the celebration model. But there's kind of an overview of the Dannys. I will unbox one of these ones so we can look at her better outside of her box. While looking at these models, I noticed another really fun variation, which is going to be hard to get my camera to focus on, but it is their nose pinking. The little marks on their noses are like different between every single model here. It is really neat to see, like they all, every single one of them, the markings on their noses are different. Just the placement of them and everything is just different on every one. Like this one has a little spot on the nose there. This one also has a little spot on the muzzle, but it's a much smaller spot. And then these ones don't have a spot on their nose. All the spots are all kind of just together on those ones when you see them compared to that one, for example. I just personally really like to see all the fun different little variations on these models. I know some people are probably thinking I'm crazy right now for just looking at all the different variations, but I think they're just very fun and just see how each and every model is a little bit different from the other one. No two are exactly alike. Okay, for this video, I've decided that I'm going to unbox this particular celebration horse. This is actually the one that has like the most amount of freckles on it. And I just absolutely love it. I think I'm gonna nickname her Freckles because she's got so many freckles on her and she's so cute. 
And I'm going to go ahead and actually unbox her so we can see her out of the box here. Just realized I didn't show the back of the box, but that is what the back of the box looks like. It says Dana shows Northern Tempest and of course talks about her and also has a little blurb about Briar as well at the bottom. Oh, this girl is so pretty. She is so very freckly. I absolutely love her. Oh my gosh, look, she's got a lot of freckles on this side as well. Oh my goodness, she is just so beautiful. I'm really loving the color on her, the freckles. Look at her beautiful spots too. They are just amazing. I know, of course, there's gonna be some little overspray here and there on a lot of the celebration models. Cause I mean, come on, look how intricate this pattern is. It is, wow. Seriously, I don't think Briar has ever done such an intricate pattern for a celebration model before. This is just crazy. Look at all those spots. It's incredible. So many spots. She is just such a beautiful model. It is no wonder that she was actually the winner of the Briarfest Battle of the Models live stream I did this year. She was actually the one that came out on top as the fan favorite. And you can see why, because look how gorgeous this model is. Wow, she is really just incredible. And I just really do love this particular one. I like the darker ones a lot too, which I'll eventually unbox one of the darker ones as well. I'm actually really liking this lighter one with all of those freckles. Look at all those freckles. Oh my gosh, so many freckly spots, little things, whatever you want to call them. She is just, wow, so pretty. Look at her cute little muzzle too. It is so adorable. And oh, it's just so cute. Little pink muzzle with those really beautiful little like kind of mottling spots going on. Her belly has a lot of the freckles and beautiful masked off markings. I mean, when you think about it, it's amazing that Briar still pays so much attention to detail, like on the bellies of the models, for example, which you don't normally really see that much. And yet she still has all these intricate little spots. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but it does also say Briarfest 2021 in gold on it. But because it's in gold, it's a little hard to see when it's on top of the white color there. And this mold does normally have horseshoes. So you can see on our hooves, they kind of look a little funky because they normally have horseshoes on there. If you wanted to, you could technically paint those silver if you wanted to make them horseshoes again. Otherwise, she is just kind of meant to be barefoot. But this is just, oh my goodness, I can't get over how beautiful this model is. It's going to be very hard for Briar to make a celebration horse that is going to beat this one, honestly. I don't know what they're going to do next year, but I just do feel like it's going to be really hard for them to top this year's celebration model. She is just so stunning. She also looks really great tacked up from the various pictures I've seen of her tacked up. The tail's really pretty. I forgot to mention her mane also has really neat shading going on. I like that they did it not just straight white or straight gray, but it's got a nice airbrushed gray in different like stripes. So it's got a nice little varied look to it. So there is the absolutely stunning Danny model for you guys. And stay tuned for more Briarfest models. All right, let's go ahead and open up Favreau. I do kind of wish this guy was clear wear. I can't remember if I thought he was clear wear at first, way back in the beginning, but I know that's been a lot of the thing people thought he was at first. Would have looked really cool in clear wear, but oh my gosh, she is so pretty. I love his colors. And I just especially love the gold on him. I believe I've already mentioned in my other videos talking about the models, but normally I'm not really a huge fan of gold and gold models. But in certain cases, like on Favreau here, where it's these gold stripes on him, I think it just looks so cool. Oh my gosh, look how pretty he is. I'm sorry, this uh, background color might not uh, contrast with him. So 
see for a while, but I will be putting in some better pictures and videos. So it's got some very fun color. I love how dark that blue is. It's very rich and saturated. I love his face. His face is super cool. I just love the design of the markings on there. I love that it kind of looks like a zebra. And then he also is kind of a, I think they said he was kind of inspired by like a zebra, a tiger, and a leopard, something like that. And a cheetah, cheetah too maybe? I don't know. He's like inspired by a bunch of wild animal colors in his markings there. Just a gorgeous color. I love how his back is too. You didn't get to really see his back in the Briar stock photos, but the design of the markings on his back is just so cool looking. So there is the adorable Favreau. He is a very pretty glossy little classic guy. I don't necessarily always like the Briarfest classic models that are normally like in the Briar pop-up stores, but this year I really, really like this guy. So I'm very, very happy to have him. He is super cool. All right, here are the three traditional scale Briarfest limited edition models. And this was an unusual year for me because I usually don't buy all of the traditional scale store specials or Briarfest limited edition models because I usually only like one or two of them. But this year I really liked all three of them. They are all just super gorgeous. And I almost don't want to take them out of their boxes because their boxes look so good with them. It's just really fun how they look like these painted canvases. And the colors of the boxes really complement the models. Like Reverence here is just a really beautiful blue on his box, which blue is a complementary color to yellow and he is a very yellowy kind of buckskin. So that color just looks so good. So part of me just doesn't want to take them out of their boxes, but I am going to. Here we got kind of a teal color, which looks very nice and complementary to Apollo's goldish color. And then Queen of Hearts does look really nice with that purpley and pink colored box. Now let's get to unboxing these guys. I'm going to go ahead and start off here with Reverence. So here's a quick, another little overview of his box. And of course, on the back of these boxes, they do talk about the horse that this model is portrayed after. And there's a nice picture of the real horse Reverence. All right, here he is. This is Reverence on the Ash Choir mold. And he looks adorable. I actually have quite a few models on this mold, I believe now. And I think it is just such a fun spirited mold. Oh my gosh, he looks so pretty. I'm actually really, really liking his offside. It looks so gorgeous. I'll try to pull in a bit here to give you a closer look at this gorgeous guy. His face is adorable. He's got a very nice big blaze. And he has some really neat little white markings around his face. Like you can see one on his cheek there. He also has one underneath his face that kind of like wraps around. And then there's another little spot on his cheek. Super cool. He's got just some really fun markings all around him here. I think his markings are just so cool how they look on this particular model. And of course on the real horse, they're just very cool Overo Pinto markings. I like these little spots of white on his leg. He's got a very cool high stocking right there on his leg. That looks super awesome. And then a sock on his hind foot. And his front two feet do not have any socks. I think my favorite part about this guy though is his mane. Look how gorgeous his mane looks. I just love the contrast of the black mane against the white markings. And then you have his beautiful kind of creamy buckskinny coat color mixed in. And then this part is also very cool. I love that the top of his mane is actually white like the real horse does. And the real horse is like this as well. He has some white mixed in with the black in his mane there. And so I just really like that whole two-toned look of his mane. I think it's really cool, especially on his offside here. Like when you view it from just kind of the side, it looks so cool. I don't think there's really a whole lot else for me to say about this guy other than I just love him. He is so gorgeous. I'm so happy I bought him. 
Again, I love his color and he looks a lot better, I think, in person. And sometimes Briar stock photos, the colors look a little different than the models themselves. And I think he does look a little bit better in person than in those particular Briar stock photos. His color just looks so much prettier, I think. And there's like a lot of variety in the shades of it here. Like parts of it are a little bit of a lighter shade of buckskin. And then you got some parts that are a little bit darker there. Just a very cool model. I am very much very much enjoying reference. He is a very cool guy. Okay, I thought I was recording the whole time I was starting to unbox Apollo, and I wasn't recording. I am just off my game today. Here's the back of his box real quick, and I was just saying that it again says Apollo on it and talks about him and has a beautiful picture of the real horse. Now back to the unboxing. All right, Apollo is now free from his box and he looks so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, let me show you his other side first there. Such a pretty model, his color is really fun. I do really like it when Briar gets to do these models in these really neat, rare, uncommon colors and such. I don't even know what to say on this model particularly. He is just so gorgeous. He is not super metallic-y, by the way. He's actually hardly metallic at all. He is very much more of a kind of realistic color. I'm actually a little surprised by that, that Briar didn't put some more metallic kind of paint in there. I know he's kind of shining a lot, but I think that's mostly from my ring light. And he's just, he just got like a teensy bit of shine on him. He's not really, I wouldn't say like metallic. I don't know how to describe his color really, but it's not really super metallic in my opinion. Maybe it's kind of a little bit more pearly-like, just a little bit. But I think for the people that don't really care for the models that have the super like metallic-y, pearly coats and such, I think they like this model because he does look very realistic still in the color department. I love his little nose. I do like that they gave him a little bit of pink, kind of like the real horse's nose. Very, very cute. His mane is also very cool here. We'll go ahead and talk about that now. Uh, his vein is just super neat with all these different shades mixed in. You can see there's some darker, darker kind of like shading, and then we got these lighter highlights. And then what's really fun is at the tip of his mane. Now this part is actually pretty metallic-y. Is this kind of goldeny bit at the end of his mane there? That looks super cool. I really like that. And the same kind of goes for his tail. He's got a lot of shadows and highlights. It's not a flat color at all. It's got some really neat like airbrushing in the direction of the hair. And in some parts, it's got some lighter bits like right there and at the bottom of the tail right there, it's got that bit of gold. The shape of his brand is really neat. The little S in like a sun shape. And it's always cool when Briar adds those little details like that. So it's just like the horse. And I'm just can't get over how pretty his color is. There's so much variety in the color. It is not at all flat. It is so interesting and dynamic and like up on his hip here, it's a lot lighter. Then on his legs, you get down to those much darker points. You got some kind of a little bit darker shading like on his shoulder. He is just very cool. Again, I don't even have like a whole lot to say other than he is beautiful. I am loving him. His offside also looks really nice. So both Apollo and Reverence, I feel like their offsides look just as good as their show sides or four sides, near sides, whatever you say. I'm sorry, I'm very tired right now, but they look gorgeous. He does have one, one weird, like looks like almost like a little pin prick, like a little bit of an ink pen accidentally got on him or something. It's just like one little tiny spot of something, but that's the only flaw I can find on him. And I don't have any plans to show him or anything. So that little, bitty tiny pinprick is no big deal to me at all. He is beautiful. Lastly for the traditionals here we have Josie or Queen of Hearts and again her box is awesome. All of their boxes are awesome and beautiful and colorful and of course back of the box talks a bit about the horse and has a picture of her there with her owner. Now let's get to unboxing.
All right, Queen of Hearts is now unboxed. We gotta get her on her stand here so we can set her up properly. And there she is. She is on the Bristol mold, the braided mane and tail version, which is actually my first uh, braided mane and tail version on this mold. I have two loose mane and tail models, but I do not have the braided one yet. Actually, so far, I think I like the braided more than I thought I was going to. I'm generally not a huge fan of the models that are in a jumping position, but I'm actually quite liking the mane and tail on this mold. I don't know how well I can get it to show up on camera, but I really do like how it is actually like braided at the top of the tail there. And it just looks really cool. I like that detail a lot. And then the top of the mane also has like lots of nice, pretty small intricate braids. Like they're very small and in scale with the model. And I actually quite like it. I'm liking this version of the mold a lot more than I thought I would. This model is beautifully shaded. I've been hearing people talk about how lovely her side that doesn't have the brindle-like markings on it, how it is so nicely shaded, and I totally agree. She is such a beautifully shaded model. It does appear that mine does have a few little flaws here and there. I really didn't have any plans to show her or anything though, so that's fine. If anything, I think she'd actually be really fun to kind of tack up and do some little little performancey scenes with maybe. But yeah, she does have like, it looks like kind of a little mess up of some sort on her belly there. And some kind of something happening over here with the, I'm not sure if it's the paint or the finish, but there are some like kind of weird little funky marks. And her finish on this side also looks a little funky, just a little bit like that batch of finish was having a little bit of issues at that moment or something. I don't know, it's not a huge deal. You can't like really see it too well. I don't think you can even really see it on camera. It's just a slightly like finish error there, a tiny bit. But I think she is so gorgeous. I just can't get over how cool her markings are. And I'm just so happy that Briar has been able to make these markings happen on a more mass produced model. They just look so cool. And I really hope that Briar will do a model again with these kind of funky brindle markings like this again. I am liking the details of her hooves actually a lot here. She has painted horseshoes and she even has a little spot right there, which I'm assuming the real horse probably has. A little spot on her of like fetlock there. And then these back hooves are really nicely detailed. Look at that beautiful striping and the little spots on them and stuff. And again, they got the painted horseshoes. Just really nicely done. Look at that. Look at those cute little horseshoes. So, so cool. And then there's kind of a better sort of look at the horseshoes at the front there. Sorry, it's not really wanting to focus on it super well. Uh, on her belly, it does say Briarfest 2021 in silver. She's got the plastic stand that the models on this mold typically come with. And then again, there's her offside, which I just do love the shading on her. Again, she actually has quite a lot of shiny marks, but it is what it is. This is the only model so far that, that I've come across for Briarfest this year that has any kind of noticeable flaws like that. Oh my gosh, I still can't get over how pretty she is though. Look how beautiful her face is on this side. She looks so gorgeous. This color in general is just so beautiful. Even without the really cool brindle markings, this color just looks so rich and gorgeous. And oh my gosh, her face. I just can't get over how pretty her face is looking right here. It looks so pretty. Very, very beautiful model. And oh, I just realized too, she also has another little marking on her back leg there too. I don't know how well we'll be able to see that, but she also has that little marking there. I'm just really liking this model. It is so pretty. So there is Queen of Hearts, and there she is wobbling on her stand. And we'll also put with her Apollo there. And Reverence, what a beautiful trio of Briarfest limited edition models. And I will actually be getting the glossy versions of all three of these models uh, later this year as well, or possibly more like earlier next year. But I kind of couldn't resist. I just decided to order them all in gloss because I do love all three of these models and I think they look gorgeous in gloss as well. 
so I will do a video on whenever those glossy ones come at the end of this year or at the beginning of next year. This is a smaller box of Briarfest items I received and as you can see it is already open because I wasn't 100% sure what was going to be in this and I wanted to make sure I got everything for my Briarfest orders and such. So I had opened it up ahead of time when I wasn't filming currently but I'll actually take a better look at everything with you guys. I will show you the tote bag I bought better in a moment. And then also in here is just some paper. Uh, Briarfest pen I'll show you better in a moment. And two kaleidoscopes. And I could kind of tell just from seeing these guys through their packages that they are very different from each other. And I'm very excited about that because that is the reason I bought two of them. Because I was hoping they'd have some fun variations to them. I honestly even wish that I would have bought a third one because they are so cool from the pictures I've seen of other people's models and such. I have not fully opened them yet though. We're going to do that in just a moment here. But yeah, the kaleidoscope models just look super cool and I'm kind of wishing I would have bought more of them now just because each and every one of them is very unique and different from each other. All right, I think I'm actually going to show you the uh, pin and the tote bag real quickly first and then we'll open up the kaleidoscopes just to hold the suspense for those ones. Here is the little label pin. It's not super exciting, but I kind of had to get it just for my Briarfest pin collection. It's basically just the logo for Briarfest this year. It says horse of a different color, Briarfest 2021. All right, it's kind of hard to show you the tote bag with my current film setup, so I apologize, but it is a really nice big tote bag. It says horse of a different color. And on the bottom, it shows a bunch of different horse pictures, and each one is in a different color, and it looks super cool. I am actually really glad I bought this one. These just come really handy to use at Briarfest in person and other events and things. I also like that the handle has both dark blue and light blue on it. Again, I'm sorry, this is not <laughs> the best video quality right now, but it is a very cool tote bag. I'm very happy with it. All right, now we'll go ahead and do the little kaleidoscopes. So excited about these guys. The color on them is just so incredibly cool. Okay, so this is the one that, oh my gosh, he is so blue. He doesn't have a whole lot of the splattery dapples, or like he does, but they're pretty small. So he's very, very metallic blue. Oh my gosh, he is actually like even more metallic blue than I thought he was. He might be one of the most metallic-y blue kaleidoscopes I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. He is, wow, crazy looking. Oh my gosh. And my light is just really accentuating how shiny and blue he is. Oh my gosh, he is so cool. Something else I'm kind of just now realizing is that his mane and tail, and possibly even a bit his legs, are actually pearly. He's so metallic and pearly, even trying to like tone down the light here so you can see it better. He's just like so, so shiny and pearly. Oh my goodness. You can see his beautiful pearly mane there, his beautiful shiny blue shininess and glossiness. Wow, this guy is so cool. I am really, really digging him. His face is awesome. I really wish I would have bought another one of these guys now. Or maybe even two more. I don't know. They're so cool. And I, again, I just have seen so much variations between these guys. I saw someone that bought like a dozen of them and they all just, every single one looks different, which is just so awesome and really accentuates that horse of a different color theme that uh, each model is unique and different. Let's go ahead and pull out the second one here and then kind of compare them. So I'm really excited that this next one appears to have a little less of the metallic blue and is a lot more of the like, kind of rainbowy resist splattery spots and stuff underneath him. Oh my gosh, this one is so gorgeous. I will say I think I might be a little biased to this particular one already because he is so rainbowy. Oh, look how pretty and cool he is. Oh my gosh, he is incredible. Look, just look at those beautiful colors. Briar has to do this color again at some point, or at least a very similar kind of color on some different models or a traditional scale model or something, because this color is so incredibly cool. Look at this side of him. Oh my gosh. Just 
wow, this is probably like the best Briarfest stablemate they've done in a really long time, in my opinion. He is just so incredible. And I love these little Briarfest themed stablemates. I believe I have one from pretty much every year I've been to Briarfest. I just love how they kind of showcase a little bit of the Briarfest theme. He does show off that horse of a different color theme very well. Let me actually show you him here though with the other one. You can see the difference between them and why I'm so so glad I went ahead and bought two of these guys. Because look how different they are. Oh my gosh. This one has so much more rainbow and this one has so much more blue. They just look so cool. Even their bellies, look at that. So amazing. I love their little gold hooves too. Look at the drastic difference in those two. Wow, so incredible. I love them so much. I can't get over how pretty they are. I think they'd also look really cool if you displayed them like standing together like that. Briar really did do a fantastic job with this year's little Briarfest stable mate. All right, that was actually the last of the Briarfest models, but I did recently also get my Stablemate Club model, so I figured I will quickly show him in this video as well. Here's the cute little 2021 Stablemates collection box. I also recently showed the other releases so far in the 2021 Stablemates Club in a previous video. I will have that linked in the cards in the description as well if you wanna check that out. This guy's name is Raider, and there's something really interesting about him, and I've seen a lot of other people's models have this as well. And I don't know if Briar did this intentionally or if it was some kind of mistake, but these models have kind of a purpley glossy thing going on with them, and I don't know how well it's going to show on camera because it is kind of subtle, but because of the bright light, maybe you will be able to kind of see it. It's got kind of like a purpley interfacey gloss, like the actual gloss has it, or if it actually might be the like brown paint. But it's very reminiscent of some of the paint they've done like on the Halloween models. For example, I remember the classic uh, Rats Putin last year had this kind of top coat interfacey thing on it where it's kind of subtle. And I don't know, it's very strange, but it does kind of make this model more of a decorator now. Again, I don't know if you can really see it on camera. I'm gonna do my best to try and capture it for you guys. But it's a very purpley kind of thing when he's in the light. Now in certain light, he probably does look a little bit uh, more realistic and doesn't have that purpley interface thing going on. But right now, to me, he's looking like super purpley interfacey. But I do think this model is really cute overall. I actually really like this mold and I don't think I have very many on this one, if I even have any on this mold, I'm not sure. Probably have maybe one somewhere, but this mold is super cute, I think. He's like a very chunky little kind of quarter horsey, stocky horse kind of guy. And his markings are really fun. I do like his Overo markings a lot. And his little face is adorable. He's got little uh, gray spots on his nose that look great. And his eyes are also very, very nicely done for being little tiny, teeny stable made eyes. So there is Raider, another fun little addition to this Briarfest video. Considering he does have this weird purple thing going on, I guess you could also consider him part of the Briarfest horse of a different color theme. All right, there are all my Briarfest limited edition models for this year. Let me know in the comments which Briarfest limited edition model this year has been your favorite. That could also mean a model that I didn't show in this video because I didn't buy the crystal or the set of stable mates. So if any of those are also your favorite of all of the store specials this year, you can let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.